I'm still, I'm still pursuing the idea of showing folded money, mostly $1 bills, like this thing, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I want to just show the very first one of these that came to me. It wasn't, wasn't actually American dollar. It was this one here given to me 20 years ago by a German friend at the German toy fair in Nuremberg, which is a 20 Deutschmark, Deutschmark, not Euros, as it was perhaps 30 years ago, into a perfect version of a shirt, an ordinary man's shirt. What's clever about it is the artist has noticed, particularly on the 20 Deutschmark note, 20 Deutschmark, there's a, a, a feather there, probably part of a quill pen there. And he said, oh, well, that's got to be the tie, of course, of course, of course. So he incorporated that into the design and done a very nice job of it. And a good 20 years later, a friend of mine, Kasper Schwaber from Switzerland, who's married to a Japanese lady and lives in Japan and is a professor there, um, gave me this, which is the same idea, but done with a Japanese banknote. In this case, rather interesting enough, they've got a picture of Yokohama, of the Mamuji Fujiyama in, in, in Tokyo, with a reflection in the lake. And that, the artist thought to himself, is the nearest thing I can have to a tie, so we'll make that the thing. But again, it's very, very nicely executed. And I can start the unfold just by pulling that bit out to show what's going on, etc. That needs a tuck back of the shirt. But it's a lovely way of folding money, but in the first few instances I'm showing, the items have been folded and not cut. Cutting is a separate thing. So here's some examples of the American banknotes, which have been folded but not cut. This is a brilliant one. It's a one dollar bill with George Washington very much in the center, two triangles either side. The back of it is almost as much fun as the front of it. So dense, dense folding going on, a very neat, three perfectly symmetrical triangles, and George Washington right in the middle. Very nicely done, but no cuts. This is pure folding. And a separate one, given about a little bit later, is this but untidy mess here. And the reason it's untidy is you're not supposed to look at that side, you're supposed to look at the other side, where the reverse of the dollar, which this artist had concentrated on, he's got the two ones to show us a one dollar note, nicely at right angles and in perfectly symmetrical little squares. Very nicely executed, much, um, much admired. I came across at a party in New York during the toy fair, a dollar artist, that's what he called himself. This is Mark Skye from New Jersey, if he's watching. Hello, Mark. He did a little sideshow at the, um, at the party, so in between dinner, dining and dancing, you could go across to him and pay him $5 or something, and $1 for the banknote. What you do with it then is make a wonderful series of Items like this one here, that's the one I chose, but behind his head was a big board with about 20 of his designs on it, like this. He says that when he's in the, when he's in the subway coming from New Jersey into Manhattan City every day, he's, his hands are always busy, he's always folding more and more money to make things like that. And he made a whole range of beautiful things out of one dollar bills, like this, and that was his business card, as it were, with his information and how you book him and so on. So, Hey, you do hear you see this in America, but it's nice to see that. So the last bit of this is to show ones which have been, oh, yes, which have been cut. The first one is a very, very tricky one indeed. That's an ordinary dollar bill. And this is one that's been um, folded in what they call a braiding type thing. It's, um, I'll show you the author in a minute who's shown it to me. By braiding, it's something I'm familiar with from Martin Gardner's books, where you take a piece of leather, make three, two cuts to make three strips and you braid it so that none of the pieces of braid cross over. Not so I turn around, they all cross over, but they're not, not twisted in any way. That's what they've done here, but this is more difficult with a banknote because the point about leather is you can give it a twist in the air and it doesn't really matter. It becomes a bit three-dimensional, but that's got to be completely flat. And to do that, you've got to come down and do a, a 45 degree, uh, angle to get a right angle bend in it, and there's several bends in it there. It appears in this wonderful book by Robert Neal that I've had for many years in my collection, and I met him at about two of the Gathering for Gardeners, and he's got some marvellous stuff in it, this particular one, which took me a long time to master, and in fact the guy who's produced the book said he couldn't master it, it was too difficult, but there's some of the instructions for this braided dollar bill, one of the more difficult ones to do. Very nice stuff. The last thing is to show some beautiful examples of very advanced cutting and then folding. 
from another friend of mine who I've known for many years. And this is just fabulous, absolutely fabulous. There's an ordinary dollar bill, and that's what they make. What he's done here is he's cut the original circle all the way around as far as here, and he has not cut the last bit on both sides. He's left a tab connected to the mother note. He's made a second cut, because this one is obviously, it won't fit, it's, it's too small, and he's therefore made rings. So this circle will fit into the centre of that ring, and the two together will then fit back into here. And they haven't been separated, they haven't been cut and separated, that's too simple. They've been cut, but not fully cut. Both ring and circle are incompletely cut, so that they can be then kept as part of the integral part of the note on both sides, and come together in the middle. It's a superb bit of design work that the person who thought of that really has something of a, an amazing mind. He did the same thing here with um, with triangles. It's a little bit easier to follow. I can see that this piece, when it's been unfolded, it come it will come exactly into the apex of the triangle there, and that will make it work there. So. There's a whole separate, well, at least two separate pursuits here. One is to take the dollar bill or any other dollar bills and fold them without cuts at all, like pure origami. And the other one is to do cuts and then make even more incredible things. There's some amazing artists out there doing this stuff, and I've only brushed the top of the surface. My feeling is there are dozens and dozens of people in this business of designing origami, come cut origami, come creativity with banknotes. Have a go yourself. Start with a boat. <laughs>